we don't even know which which areas to go in because you are this unique person who's done like a million different things Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you ever just stop and think like, holy shit, like I've like raced my Porsche across the country. I've been on Ninja Warrior. I won the Olympia. I've been to foot, what, 50 countries. Like, do you ever just like go, how did this? Uh, you know what? It, so, like we're always so fast paced that like if we don't like actually stop and think and like realize everything we've done, like before like I even met you when I was like training at a gold's gym before I was pro me and Rob like sat down like we wrote out like a list of goals and it was like weird goals and one of those goals like like on my side was like being on the cover of a magazine like getting to the Olympia my goal was never actually to win it like that wasn't even a thought in my head so never said that out loud yeah like owning a gym and um like having my own website and in the course of like four to five years, we accomplished every single one of our goals. Like Rob accomplished all his goals. I accomplished all my goals. And we're still like at this spot where we're like, where do we go from here? Like, <laughs> so it's, so we just recently in the last year or two, like sat down and was like, it's really cool to be here. And now we live in what was supposed to be like when we retire, like move to Montana and just live the dream here. And we're like, why are we waiting? Let's just make that goal now. So we made that goal now. Like we just, everything we write down happens. <laughs> like <laughs> just make it, make sure it happens, honestly. It, w- w- there's There's got to be like a magical chemistry mindset that occurred with you two. <clears throat> it's, it's just, it's such an anomaly. Like I, I know Rob's a, a, a special character. Yeah. But uh You've got to be pretty special too. Like, what do you think? What do you think it is with you guys? Is it? Do you guys talk about ideas constantly? I mean, he's definitely more of the idea guy. Like, I wouldn't be doing half the stuff I'm doing. It's just like he. <laughs> I can like, tell. I can honestly. I can tell he came up with some of these ideas. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and like it's things like I mean, 10, 15 years ago, like I didn't think I would be able to do like half the things I could do, but I had someone that completely believed in me and then pushed me to actually do those. And he knows how like strong willed and like strong minded and how competitive I am that like, once I have something in my head, I will fucking go for it. (laughs) So like us together, I think that's the hardest thing. People like couples, like they just don't support one another. And like, like the only way I made it to Olympia is because of him and actually because of our entire team, because we have this crazy team. We have Austin and our, our video guy and our, everybody like picked up the slack, like drew picked up so much slack because I had to like kind of do this thing because you know, like competing is it's a 24 hour a day job that I needed to focus on. And if I wanted to get there, all these people had to put put a lot of effort into helping me get there. So it's not just like a Rob effort. It's like this awesome team that we have behind us. Honestly, yeah. it's, it, I, I remember going to your, I mean, your original warehouse where you had the, the, the factory and the warehouse and everything. The first time I came to visit you guys and you know, I've, I've, I mean, obviously they can watch the episode. Um, but just being there, there, there was like, I don't know if you guys realized what was going on there from an outsider's point of view, but like Jonathan and I couldn't stop talking about it. Like we talked about that trip for like a year. There was so many things that were normal to you guys that right. were just so fucking next level. <laughs> and I was like, that's how you do it. Yeah. Like Rob's like, yeah, you know. Yeah. I want to be successful, so I just sleep on the floor. Yeah, we lived out of office. I prepped Olympia out of that warehouse. You you lived in like I lived in a warehouse, in like an industrial <laughs> warehouse. Like uh, on every, a every, other, every other girl on Instagram was on a boat, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know and what? Like things that most people wouldn't do, I like to do. Like we just like to do things different. So when I so I finally, <laughs> Kaya, stop. Oh, I miss, I miss <laughs> Kaya. Dogs are always a part of our show. That's good. <laughs> so when Dog I, tra- uh, I think it was the Tampa Pro, 
um, was kind of like the first, I, I did the New York Pro, did really bad for some reason. I thought I looked great, but I did like mediocre. <laughs> um, and I took like a year off, like found George. George helped me to get to the Tampa Pro. And instead of just like doing what normal people do, we decided to do the Airstream tour down to the Tampa Pro. So I prepped uh, for like a week and a half, the, like the craziest week ever, the last two weeks of my prep was out of an Airstream tour, driving, meeting people along the way, training with people along the way, In dying. Gyms. <laughs> Absolutely dying at, all before the Tampa Pro. And I somehow got there and I looked, uh, I got second. Should have won. <laughs> 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 That's just my own opinion. <laughs> but then did the Dallas Bureau for the next year, uh, the next weekend. But we just like to do things that no one else does.